All right, my goal this evening is to try to get a flathead catfish in the boat from one of my favorite backwater spots. The water has warmed up nicely. It's about 74 degrees now, so they should be moving. And I'm gonna be using bigger baits. The flathead catfish around here, they really do like chunk bait. And all of this is pretty shallow water. We're in five foot of water right here. It may be six or seven foot back there. In front of the boat, it's like a foot of water. Now I am spreading them out in varying distances from the boat just to hit the entire channel. Kind of. That's equal to that one, but it'll work. Whoop. It is a good idea to cast your middle rods first and then work your way out. Might put this one in shallow water. That way. I think I've caught the majority of my flatheads, like right there. But I have caught a couple in this really shallow water that's in front of the boat. Now let's see if I'm lucky enough to get a flathead tonight. Big heads moving. That was the first sign of activity. Huh. Wonder if that was a big channel cat. <laughs> Man, I got excited there for a second. I have my light with me, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to test using this camera tonight on a mostly cloudy night. See what type of image quality it gives. Rod. Hopefully it's not another turtle. Last time I was here, got a big old snapping turtle. I think that was a turtle, it had to have been. It's 
chewing on it. Could have been a channel cat. Just gonna put it right back out. I have limited bait. So I'm gonna use what I got. Angry bird. Hopefully I won't get skunked tonight. All right, I've been here for a good amount of time and just a nibble here and there. No takedowns, no flatheads yet, and thankfully no snapping turtles yet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move to another spot before it gets too dark for me to see where I'm going. Although right now, it is pretty dark. It's a lot darker than what you guys see on the camera right now. I have noticed more limb lines than normal along this entire creek system. So I'm kind of not surprised that I haven't caught a flathead yet. I really hope whoever's putting out the limb lines are letting the big ones go, but you never know. I rarely see game wardens around here and none of these limb lines are tagged. I think something's playing with this one. <laughs> I think I got it. Uh, hopefully this isn't another turtle. No, it's just fighting maybe like a fish. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. <laughs> that was the weirdest bite ever. It's a big old channel cat. Well, at least I'm not skunk if I get it in the boat. And yes, I did set that hook like Mike Accadelli. You can set the hook with these double action circle hooks. It's not recommended though. That's a big channel. Wow. I don't know if I can get this guy in the boat. Oh! <laughs> wow. Told you that was a big channel. He broke my line. I was going to try to... Uh, pick them up with the leader line, but it was my main line that broke. Some of this line is getting old, and I can take a bet there was a nick in the line. That's why it broke. Wow. Well then, I guess, uh, I don't know if he can count that or not. I got it to the side of the boat. What do you guys think? Did I just catch a big channel catfish, or did I just lose a big channel catfish? Which would make this video a skunked video if I publish it, which I probably will publish it because at least I got something on camera. That's the way this creek is. It will either give me good fish or nothing at all. And I have spent hours and hours, maybe even days worth of videos of me catching nothing here. And I usually don't publish that because usually nothing happens. I just sit here for hours and no fish bites. Anyway, I'm still going to move and try a different spot before I call it. There are always channel cats here, it seems, but the flatheads, they are missing at the moment. I don't know where they're at, unless they're in somebody's freezer. All right, since I'm the last boat at the boat ramp, I'm going to try fishing here at the boat ramp with the last of my bait. give this, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes and then call it a night. This is actually a weeknight for me, so I can't stay out too terribly late. But I tell you what, there's quite a bit of flow here too. When there's flow like this, that's when I catch the big ones. 
Maybe one will drop by here at the ramp. <laughs> that is a big piece of bait. I'm only going to put five rods out too. I re-rigged that one in the morning when I can actually see. Maybe I get something here. Maybe I won't. You never know. Hello, bird. Okay, guys. I tried. Didn't get a flathead tonight and lost a massive channel catfish at the side of the boat. It happens. It is what it is. Like I said earlier, I guess you can officially call this a skunked video. Now I'm going to get these reeled up and get the boat loaded on my trailer. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up to show YouTube that you enjoyed the video. And, as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch this skunked video. Unless you consider getting the fish to the side of the boat as not skunked. Let me know in the comments below. Now, I was hoping that if I stood here talking long enough, maybe a fish would have grabbed one of the rods. I've actually had that happen before in the past. But looks like tonight is not my lucky night. I will definitely be fishing in the future, but I probably won't come back here until my buddy tells me that he's catching flatheads out of this waterway. He hasn't even tried yet. He's actually been catching giant trout, which I need to go try someday. That would definitely be a fun thing to do. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.